Alice Camille, when writing the reflection for today, says, Jane handed me her coveted cookie recipe. Now follow it exactly. I've got this down to a science. I set out immediately to duplicate her success. But the ingredients called for a shocking amount of sugar, so I cut it in half. And I substituted shortening for butter. And I always use whole wheat flour instead of white. The baking time seemed wrong too, so I left them in longer. When the cookies came out of the oven, they were terrible. <laughs> Something's wrong with that recipe. <laughs> one that I haven't cooked in a long time, but one of the things I do is I follow a recipe. And one of the things that's necessary is we recognize in our lives, sometimes it's good to go with just what's there, and other times it's good to explore and try your creativity. What about when it comes to our life with God? You see all sorts of people doing all sorts of things to be able to make it their own or to go their own way. But then you see people who are very strict and people who are doing just the Ten Commandments or trying to live a godly life. And I think it's a case of both and. Because we have the love of God poured into our hearts, we're called to recognize all the many, God, all the many gifts that God has given us and all the many opportunities that we have. We also have to recognize the things that we need to do that are going to keep our mind and our heart focused on God in our lives. One of the things that our readings speak of is that we have what it takes, that we have the wisdom and the power of God to do the right thing. As the Beatitude says, we're called to be pure of heart, faithful to what God is offering us, what God is giving us, to be able to place God in the midst of our lives and to recognize God dwelling in our lives. And a lot of times, in the midst of busyness, sometimes we get lost or afraid. But we have the example of the saints, whether it's Francis of Assisi or Mother Teresa, Dorothy Day or Tom Dooley. We have people who looked at all the many opportunities they had to do whatever, to spend their money, to be able to have wisdom, to be able to make an influence, but they've centered their lives on God. We have influence in our lives. The people you talk to, the people you live with, even the very people that we meet. But what are we doing to be able to let our lives be an example of God's love, God's mercy, God's forgiveness, to give people that faith, the hope, and love that God's first given us. Let us be people of joy because God has given us so much. As the reading said, let us be doers of the word and not just hearers.